So the movers and shakers in this world are not sitting around watching television. They're utilizing their lives for sharp, for evil. And they're spreading their facade all over the world, but they're busy at it. And the Muslims are asleep. And because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. Because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. And that's why we find ourselves in the horrific condition we find ourselves in. And until the Muslims wake up, it's just going to one nightmare to another. We're just going to be in one nightmare to another. That's all it is. They're just nightmares because we're asleep. And when we wake up, then we can enter into the light of day. And Islam is a deen about waking up. That's what it is. Religion is supposed to wake people up. I mean, this is not a joke. This is reality, people. There are people that want to keep you asleep. If they don't use the drugs of, of white powder, they'll use the drug of television, they'll use the drug of their mass media, they'll use all these drugs, but they're going to keep you asleep because they fear the day that you wake up. That's what they fear. And you should be very well aware of that. rightly guided Khulafa, meaning Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman and Ali was exactly 30 years. Okay, so we had Abu Bakr for 2, Omar for 10, Uthman for 12, Ali for 2 and a half and Hassan who succeeded Ali ibn Talib was 3 and a half years. So that makes as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said exactly 30 years. After that evil spread and kingship was established just as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said would happen. Where is Khorasan? 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 In the time of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, has been researched by the eminent Pakistani scholar Dr. Isra Rahman and he has explained that Khorasan is that territory which extends from northwest Pakistan, the Pathan Belt, northeast Iran, the whole of Afghanistan, and the territory north of Afghanistan. But clearly Afghanistan is in the heart of Khorasan. This territory has one thing distinctive about it, that Europe could never colonize the heart of Khorasan. The British tried when Britain was the ruling state in the world and the British failed and then the Russians tried when they had the superpower, the Soviet Union and after 12 years the Russians failed and guess who is trying now? The war in Khorasan has just begun Mr. Bush. I believe it is that army which will be unstoppable until it reaches Jerusalem. When you see that army coming from Khorasan, the Prophet said, go and join that army, even if you have to crawl over ice. 
because no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. The jihad is already in force to liberate the Holy Land. No one can stop that jihad. No one can stop it. The jihad is already in force to liberate the territory from where the army will come from Khorasan. No one can stop that jihad. Al Mahdi cannot emerge until Israel has become the ruling state in the world. Al Mahdi cannot emerge until Dajjal has completed his mission. Al Mahdi cannot emerge until the state of Israel has ruled the world for a day which is like a week. Al Mahdi cannot emerge until the water has dried in the Sea of Galilee. So stop these foolish questions. As he approaches Makkah, people are going to come out to him. So this has to be a well-known person, not some obscure non-entity, a well-known person. When the people of Makkah come out to him, they'll force him to accept the bayah. The oath of allegiance which legitimizes the leadership of the Amir al-Mu'mini, bayah. He will accept the bayah at the Kaaba and then proclaim himself to be Al-Mahdi. It is only then that you would know that Al-Mahdi is here. But after he proclaims himself Al-Mahdi, he's going to be attacked from an army, with an army from Sham. That army comes down to the south and armies are under the control of governments. And when that army is between Medina and Makkah going down south, the earth is going to open and swallow that army. That is the sign of all signs. Beyond the shadow of a doubt, validating the claim of this man that he is the Mahdi. When Darul Islam is restored in the Arabian Peninsula, this is now the most dangerous and potent of all threats to the state of Israel. Dajjal will now attack. He's now in a day which is like our day. And so we see him, a Jew, a young man, powerful, built curly here. But I'm not saying anything about his eyes because you understand the hadith about the eyes now. The Jews are rubbing their hands. We got them now. There's no escape. We got them. We have them in our sights now. At that last moment, the son of Mary comes down with his hand resting on the wings of two angels. As the son of Mary comes down in the masjid, Imam al-Mahdi says, here he is, this is the son of Mary. And then the son of Mary responds and identifies himself. Imam asks him, you lead the salat. He says, no, you are the Imam, you lead. After the salat, then the confrontation takes place between the false messiah and the true Messiah. And the false Messiah is killed. And then Gog and Magog are destroyed. The Sea of Galilee is dry. And after Gog and Magog are destroyed and Dajjal is killed, now the state of Israel is without any support. The Dajjal has placed a strong hold in the very heart of Islam itself and laid a firm grip on the Muslim holy lands. But although they plan, 
Allah also plans, and Allah is the best of planners. The final victory will be with the Muslims.